wanted to show you guys the travel video and for some reason you really enjoy these. I don't know. It was a funny one because it kind of was a smooth experience and at the same time it really wasn't but it kind of was. Before I get into the video do be sure to subscribe otherwise an alligator will come up your toilet. And into the video. Good morning and it is very much morning. It's like 5.30 a.m. in Ireland. I'm flying to Miami today and I very much not slept on my lovely couch. My mum is staying here while I'm over there. Paul's mostly going to be minding Chewy but um, my mum's going to mind him a little bit too. Um, so he's not here right now which is I miss him. It was hard to sleep on a couch anyway but it's harder to sleep without Chewy um but needs must because america you won't let me bring my dog back into ireland um but I, say? I started getting ready anyway and lenny should be here in like half an hour and he's always cheerful in the morning bright and bubbly and ready to go oh it's still dark yeah it's still very dark it's the middle of the night diane i'll get you a cop <laughs> so this is the least organized we've ever been for a trip I had no idea what I had clothes-wise until like 9 o'clock last night. Yeah, I was still washing clothes. I was just more concerned about getting all the camera gear. Well, thanks. It's very conscientious. It's kind of why your bag is in the back seat there, because I just threw everything into the booth. Yeah, you haven't packed yet. Well, we'll do it when we hit the car park. Yeah, everything. Oh wait, where am I going? To the airport. I know, I took a wrong turn. Duh. <laughs> Well, there's our first U-turn. <laughs> a U-turn. So prepared. That's too light in here. Oh, it's this wall to do it again. It's raining out. I've been packed for a week. Yeah. Well, we went through pre-clearance and clearance and took out our shoes and our laptops and all the camera gear like 50 million times. Um, does anybody not get stressed during that bit? Because I get really stressed. And um, then we had, because we were told pre clearance would take like, they said it would take an hour, but it actually only took about half an hour. So then we had like two hours just to sit in the bad part of the cafes and stuff. And then Lenny was all excited to get a Guinness, but the kegs hadn't come in or something, so he didn't get to have a Guinness. And then just as they were getting a Guinness, we got the notification to come and get ready to board the flight. So, tough luck, Len. What's wrong? Um, I didn't get breakfast. I didn't get Guinness. And what did you also just not get? <laughs> Jellies. Jellies. It's like the worst so far. This is the worst. I don't think it's, I don't think it's the worst. We definitely have I mean, worse. I wanted an 8 a.m. Guinness, what's wrong with that? Don't speak to you up. We get to Philadelphia. Is that my pillow? No. Just got on the plane and you're complaining. I didn't get my Guinness or breakfast. Um, I have this lovely uh, neck pillow, despite the fact that ah, I was calling him. Weird for having a neck pillow. <laughs> I didn't bring mine because of that. But one of the patrons sent me this. So now I'm gonna be so close. That's what I have. It's a hard world. It's a hard world. 346 minutes later. It's mine. Well, we are in Philadelphia Airport for our stopover and we come to an Irish bar. That's what we do. An Irish bar near, but why did we do that? Because we wanted food. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know. We just gravitated here. Okay, we're also debating how we're going to get a car upgrade. Yeah. I think we need we need a convertible from Miami. We need to do with this. I don't thing. think we need. There's a difference between needs and wants. I think I, for my own sanity, I need a convertible. So <laughs> you're gonna flirt to try and get the car. Well, we'll take turns. I'm not the one who wants the upgrade. I think you do though. I kind of do. Yeah, you do. We'll, 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 uh, we'll see who's actually serving us at the time. And we'll then make we'll a judgment call. We'll take a judgment call. We've just had a stroke of genius, given that we're in Philadelphia and we saw on the menu they have listed Philly cheese day. 
And uh, I kind of think it's apt that I have a Philly cheese steak cake. <laughs> steak in Philadelphia. So it might not be the number one Philly cheese steak in the world, but I'm going to try it. And to be honest with you, I don't even know what a Philly cheese steak is. Philly cheese steak from an Irish bar could be any Philly cheese steak from an Irish bar. But what I it's I don't know. We'll find out. I don't know what it is. I assume it's like steak with cheese on it. Phil is the guy's name. So. From Philadelphia. What you got there, Diane? I don't know. It looks a lot like pulled pork. That's what a Philly cheese steak is. Then. Is it? But that's just bread. Where is the cheese? Is the cheese? Go Should digging. Go digging. With my plastic fork, because I'm in an airport. This is spicy. It smells, but oh, there's cheese. There's a bit of cheese. I think you might be smelling the spice from my uh, wings. <laughs> Yeah, look at you with your little lady wings and I've got the Philly cheese steak. Well, if you're thinking that, that's sexist. How am I supposed to eat this with my... Hands. Hmm. Well, what's it taste like? It doesn't taste like anything. The bread's really nice. It's like, kind of got a little kick to it. And the cheese is really nice too. Um, it's not what I anticipated at all. I thought it would be wetter. <laughs> Does that make sense? I thought it might be wetter. But yeah, I'm down. Philly cheesesteak and Philly. I will be seven and a half out of ten. Cheers. In an Irish pub. We just got on our second plane and no joke, this is one of the oldest airplanes so in the world. This makes it to Miami, I think we're doing well. There's another three hours to go and I, I think we have to share these two. <laughs> this is the sad. Not too sure how well this charming thing's gonna work because it's a pretty big queue and you're not that charming. Fact. I like it. Is that is that a good car? Yeah, well, good. give it marks out of ten. No, it's seven. One minute thirty-seven seconds later. What? Do we have to get out of the car? Why do yeah, we have so to get? There's a problem with the oil light on this one. So oh, they're giving us another one. I hope it's, I hope it's a 10. Is it good? It's a nice big one. It's a big Toyota. It's still pretty big. It's a lot bigger. It's a better car. So what's this one out of 10? I haven't set into it yet, but it's about 8, 9, 8. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah, I'm exciting. just thinking car. Looking for scratches. I wanted to give you a good wrap up where we went out and had food somewhere but honestly we stopped in the supermarket to get a few essentials and we're both falling asleep so well, we're just gonna get the essentials and then we're gonna head back to the B&B and go to sleep. Look at this. Dan. Wake up, go to bed. Are they my chips? They're my chips. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Go to bed, are you? I'm in bed. No, you're not. I want to watch TV. No. No beer for learning. No beer. Just chips. Oh my god. You're cleaning that up. No, obviously. And that's it. Special thanks today go out to the Karmic Goals crew over on Patreon. They are an amazing group of people who've made this awesome community over there. Without them, these trips wouldn't be possible. Their names are in the description box, and if you see them below in the comments, do say boop. We've still got time to fit a couple more things in the schedule, so if you have any suggestions, let me know below in the comments, and I'll see you on Wednesday for a live stream. Bye. Bye.
No, you're dreaming. Go to bed. Come on. You're not buying in charge of me. <laughs> you're not buying in charge of me.